Hi everyone! From this video, I'm going to tell about a project that I received from Java Institute. So, it's a mobile application. Uh, better say, it's a chat application. I did this project based on mobile application development subject. And I used a React Native as uh, my framework to create this. A mobile application and React Native is an open source UI software framework uh, that created to the developers and we can develop applications for Android, Android TV, iOS, uh, macOS, likewise uh, uh, yeah, by enabling developers to use the React framework along with the native platform capabilities so I use this framework to create my mobile application and today I'm going to introduce about my uh, mobile application and I named my application as flight chat uh, with, uh, yeah, with the icon with the logo uh, of F and from this video I'm going to introduce you uh, the signing page you can see uh, I your uh, you can see I already have um, opened my signing page and on the top you can see the logo of my application and the name of uh, my application is flight chat and there has uh, two text input uh, first one is uh, to enter the mobile and the second one is to enter the password and there has uh, two another uh, buttons the uh, first one is signing and the next one is to sign up page and yeah this is the sign up page uh, I can enter my mobile number here and uh, password here okay so let's go to the uh, in code that I used to create my um, signing page uh, this is signing JS um, I use JavaScript for uh, creating these pages. Firstly, I'm going to introduce uh, my UI part. So in the UI part, okay, you can see my UI to here, and um, yeah, there has uh, more uh, some elements in green color. You can see that's uh, are the elements uh, that I used to create my uh, page, my signing page. Uh, first one is the uh, safe area view, and I have imported that um, element to the import section. And next one, you can see image. Uh, it's uh, I use this element for uh, add my logo, add my icon to the front uh, page. Yeah, and this is the uh, URL of my logo. And next one is the uh, text. So first one is fly and the next one is chat. Uh, I separated the word for two parts because I can use a separate CSS to the box. And fly in black color and chat in pink color. And the next one is uh, view. The first one is icon. Uh, it's uh, icon main uh, the icon that I use so you can see uh, the mobile icon and the next one is the text input to enter the, the mobile number I have the um, input mode it's numeric that's that, that is uh, actually when I uh, click on the mobile uh, the keypad is a numeric keypad and the uh, and I have give maximum length as 10 because in Sri Lanka we can see there's only 10 digits for mobile number that's why yeah. I give a maximum length as 10 and uh, I have set the mobile to here and this whole uh, it's uh, your mobile it's this one your mobile 
and the next one is also same to this uh, the very previous one uh, as the mobile now it's the password and i have used icon uh, as lock uh, you can see it's the lock icon right here and I have also used um, style to the CSS path. And yeah, I will place uh, yeah, security ent entry and placeholder. So this is the view path uh, of the uh, password. And this is another element, it's called touchable opacity. That's mean touchable opacity uh, we use for the buttons. And my first button is uh, sign in. You can see the sign in button, and uh, in my page, in my app, you can see a uh, sign in button. And the next one is uh, I have navigated this one to uh, sign up. You can see the sign up page. These two are the two buttons for signing and sign up. And this is the end of the uh, UI part. And right here, I have gave a function called sign in process, and also I given given that to uh, sign in button uh, in the on the on press. I have gave the function sign in process. On press means uh, the process that should happen when we click on um, some buttons. So uh, from this uh, function. Of signing process, I have given the process like this, and also I have given it to the on press. So in function signing process, from two variables, uh, I have given mobile and password, and from the another other variable, I have given the JSON request, and the first one is a JSON request object. And the other one is just because text. Uh, let's see what are those. And um, from another variable, I have formed the data. And next, I have appended uh, just some request text in here. Well, this is the Ajax, Ajax part. Uh, this is all the status of the HTML request. And also, uh, you can see. Uh, I have given a request and from already state change from the ready state property holds the status of the XML HTTP request. The already state change property defines a function to be executed when the ready state change and the status property uh, the status text property holds uh, the status of the XML HTTP object. So uh, from a function, I have given uh, the request status. Actually, request status is uh, the code that we use to indicate whether a specific HTTP request has been um, successfully completed or not. In already state, you can see uh, I have equal it to four runs the code. Or four, and this is means the request has been sent. The server had uh, finished returning, uh, has finished uh, returning the response, and the browser had finished downloading the response content. And from the status request status, I have uh, equal it to two hundred. That means uh, the request has uh, succeeded. Another if else condition, uh, I have done some response check, and from if condition, um, if anyone trying to log in or sign in uh, to the page without uh, entering the correct data or any data, uh, it's coming an alert like a message in many details like that. From an else condition, if uh, someone who is uh, entering the data correctly and uh, if, if he or she uh, signing to the uh, chat app, uh, then it's uh, navigate to the home page. 
I'll explain about the home page later. Um, yeah, I have navigated uh, home page after the sign in uh, from the request open. Uh, yeah, the open method will open the specific URL and from the request sent method, it sends an HTTP request to the server and receives a response. Now you can see a function called sign up and I have uh, navigated it to the button of sign up. You can see it uh, right here. You can see uh, in the on press it's the sign up. Uh, so this is the sign up function and also I have navigated this is uh, this to a uh, sign up page. This is my sign up code and I'll explain it to you later. And now this is the CSS part. Actually, yeah, there's uh, nothing too much inside the CSS part because uh, I have used this part to uh, uh, customize my properties and um, like adding adding some uh, colors, uh, change to font size, uh, to font family, um, uh, yeah, like this, the uh, font weight. Uh, to um, align the uh, object on in the top, there's some uh, imports. Actually, those imports have used to um, create this uh, UI part. Uh, firstly, you can see uh, the import React from uh, React. This uh, code is really useful, um, and also. This one too. Actually, from this code, uh, we have given the other elements to here. Uh, if we if we uh, add some elements uh, to our UI path, this should uh, we should import this part. And you can see if I remove uh, this one, uh, it's refreshing and coming an error. It's the render error property. Touchable opacity doesn't exist because uh, I have given the property uh, like right to here but it's saying uh, the property is doesn't exist because I haven't imported it to here and now if I give it again it's refreshing and uh, opening the signing page again and the error has gone you can see on my page and also from you know, this are uh, the some imports. Uh, I I have used this one to icons. You can see right here. Uh, it's uh, something that I should install to my app. Uh, this this for async async storage. Okay, so that's my uh, signing page. So those are the things that I have to explain you. Okay, now I'm going to um, sign in from user. Okay, you can see uh, my users. Um, I'm signing from this user. Okay, so I'm going to make you the mobile number. And the password also. 3667. Uh, and now I'm going to uh, click on the signing button. And let's see. Okay, it's the... Uh, yeah, I came to the... Uh, home page actually you can see my home page and when I click on some users uh, it's going to the chat page uh, you can see my chat page also and also my home page and from the next videos I hope to explain about the other pages also you know I'll try to uh, sign from another user And I'm going to click on the button of sign in, and you can also see uh, the home page uh, and the chat also. And this is the code that I use for creating my sign in page. So that's the end of the video. And hope to see you guys from the next video.